All right, guys, what's up, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Robbie. This is Quinn. That's Jack. He's my cousin. What's up? Um, so today we got a good video for you. We have new wheels for the Miata. These were a pretty penny. I purchased Avid AV08s. think they would fit because those are what 14s anyways along with the uh, <laughs> new wheels they got new tires FD Toyo Extenza HPs in no 95 50 R15 um, these specs on the wheel if I've not already said it are 15 by nine and a half with a plus 35 offsets so this is a pretty meaty tire for this but I think it's gonna go for grip yeah Quinn's going for more of a grip stance on this uh, it's gonna look good regardless um, I would have possibly gotten some stretch tires. He, you're, you're stretch. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Um, well, the Evos right now are good just because I didn't have control over that. But I don't mind the stretch look, but on this car, I kind of want to keep it with the, uh, the just as fat and meaty as possible. Yeah. All right. Day, bro. Let's dial this thing in. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. So before we get into the wheel install for today, we've got. Merch. This is our uh, lineage logo patch shirt with our love, honor, respect uh, spinal design down the back. Um, all of our stuff is super soft. Um, I wouldn't wear it if it wasn't. Um, so we'll take the hit on the cost so you can enjoy what you get. Uh, it's lineagefactory.com. Go pick yourself up some merch so you can support the channel because why wouldn't you do that? Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button because you could win my Evo. Um, if we hit 125,000 subscribers by the end of February next year, it could be in your driveway. Let's get back to the install. All right, guys, so along with putting the new wheels on it, we're also going to dial in the fitment and the stance while it's on here because the car is already sitting on coilovers. So we got my uh, spanner wrenches. We're gonna throw the wheels on the car first, see how it fits, and then get to adjusting and get that mint fitment. It's gonna take a while. Might take a little bit, but yeah. oh well. Hopefully it just sits close where it should be. Yeah, my guess is we're gonna have to, We'll have to lower it probably an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Yeah. Front and rear, but it's gonna look good. So uh, yeah, let's get these Hopefully wheels on. Hopefully don't have to roll these fenders. Uh, <laughs> they feel I already rolled. They feel mint at most rolled, yeah. Yeah, I they feel rolled. Oh yeah, no, there's like no paint on these right there. <laughs> so, actually the fenders already feel rolled, which is good. So yeah, let's just- Are they the rolled or are, are they self-clearanced? <laughs> self-clearanced. The car used to be dumped. That's a good way to put it, self-clearance. I loosen them up for you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, jack it up. Jack it up, Jack. <laughs> jack it up, Jack. They thick. Make sure these work. I mean, they should. Yeah. Hmm. Can right. Quinn get this loosened without killing his knuckles? There. Nope. Here, I'm heading you over to my resident photographer or videographer, Jack. Hello. Thank you. What's up? So you can kind of see how much we're dropping it right now. We got about an inch and a half from the bottom spline, just to start with. So we're dropping about two inches in the rear right now. I think Quinn is pretty much doing the same in the front. He's, yep. I'm uh, probably finish it up right now. He's a little bit closer to being done because he's got, we don't have, well, we don't, we have, don't have the one set. Span wrenches. So uh, before we do this, uh, Quinn, what do you think of the Raceland coilovers? Honestly, they ride really rough, but they handle pretty nice. For like, a, I think they're $400 for a set. It's not really not that bad a deal. Uh, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. I mean, if you, all you want to do is go low, oh, they're great. 
Plus, you have a good factory warranty and everything. Yeah. Can you pass me the other spanner? Oh, thank you. And. I mean, don't do it so tight that you can't get it off. All yours. So, um, we apparently did some math wrong. Um, and no, we didn't do math wrong. We did it perfect. Yeah, it, it looks it looks pretty freaking good. Not even gonna lie, but it's uh, way lower than we. Once we, I think, okay. So once going. we do the other side, it's gonna level out. Yeah. So, so now all the weight is on this side. Yeah. Well, just. Yeah. Boom. I'm actually all for that. Yeah. And I think if it looks decent on the other side, Quinn is gonna keep it for a while. Cool. Let's uh, let's count the threads on this. We're at. I think the max up on the other side. Cool. Yep. So I'm bored with me, uh, Tom. Alright, we're getting wet. I got no idea like how they look, but... So, let me turn it here. Roll that away. We're talking about, uh, counting threads. What we're doing is... Legitimately counting how many threads are from the bottom to the bottom of this first collar right here um, That way we can just match it up on the other side and it'll be freaking perfect without having to I have exactly three You have three? Three This is almost maxed out on this coil over I have way more than three so hold on Yes sir Oh, I can't get the jack back Low life how much do you loosen this? Jack, I think we've got to loosen the jack. Oh, it's fine. Just wasn't out of the way. That's it. Like 40? This is not recommended, by the way. All I gotta do is get the car in the other bed. Just load it from there to there. So while Jack is uh, jacking up this side, uh, oh, we need to loosen the lug nuts on this side real quick, so don't jack it to pull away. Um, so now we're just gonna pretty much just copy and paste from the other side to this side. Um, should be pretty simple, especially now that we have the thread count. So it, it should be easy. So here we go. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, Robbie and Jack had to leave, so it's just me right now. Um, it is currently Monday, and so I've been using these wheels for about two days now with the tires on them. Um, first off, they are a neck breaker. Second, the tires are awesome. They are super grippy, no understeer going into corners on hard braking. Very much, a lot of grip when coming out. Cannot recommend these enough. Again, they're the Toro Extenza HPs. Really good all around or felt even better grip in the rain. Overall, I'm really happy with the setup right now. I am bottoming out a lot, so I'm getting used to driving low. My, my Acura is two inches lowered, so it's not like dumped, but this is, this is the lowest I've ever had a car. So I'm getting used to driving it. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and checking out this video. I hope y'all enjoyed how this turns out. In the next episode, we will be going over the whole paint on this car and maybe a couple more touch-ups on the arrow. So stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, check out our merch, not stuff like this, and stay original out there.